Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ivan and I'm back with another Seiko watch review. Last weekend I reviewed the all new 5KX GMTs and in that video I told you I had just received these. So what you're looking at are the very recently released Night Vision Limited Edition models. They are part of the Seiko Prospects Black Series and besides looking stealthily cool, they feature the brand new green Lumibride Pro, which according to Seiko is stronger and longer lasting. Just like most of my other Seiko and G-Shock videos, this one is brought to you by Relojeriaesparta.com, who are an authorized Seiko dealer here in Spain. The good news is that they ship internationally, but what's even better is that they've promised to give a special discount to anyone who contacts them from my behalf, so definitely check them out, especially if you are in Europe. I've left all the information you need in the description below. Alright guys, let's start by having a look at the King Samurai first, the reference number of which is SRPH97K1. Seiko has produced 8000 of these, which is quite a large number, but in the case of the Samurai, I'm sure it will sell out pretty quickly, because to me Seiko has absolutely nailed it. I mean, the black hard coated case and the neon green accents go together really well. I reviewed the Shoe Hero Limited Edition not so long ago, and I absolutely loved its red dial, but I think I like this version a bit more. To be honest, I've always been a big fan of the Seiko Samurais, but for one reason or another, I never got to the point of owning one. I once had a Turtle, the Blue Lagoon Limited Edition. I replaced that one with my Sarp 017, which I still own. It's a fantastic watch. And last week, I also added the Marine Master to the collection. So, unfortunately, I won't be purchasing a new watch anytime soon, but I can definitely visualize this Samurai as the third member of my Seiko collection. What I really like about all these newer Samurai models is that Seiko finally treated them with a couple of upgrades that we Seiko fans have wanted for years. The first one is obviously the addition of a sapphire crystal. It's not like there is something very wrong with mineral crystals, but once you cross the 500 euro price point, there's really no excuse for not using a sapphire. So yeah, I'm very happy to report that all three models I'm showing you today come with one. The second upgrade is the ceramic bezel insert, and I've got to say I love aluminium bezel insert just as much. But in this case, the black shiny ceramics complement the watch in a way that when you look at it, you're like, okay, this piece must be expensive. That being said, I believe now it's a good time to tell you that this model retails for 690 euro, which, depending on how much you like it, it might be a good price or not, but either way, keep in mind that you can typically get them with a discount. So I would like to remind you here that my AD has a special price for you, and all you need to do is ask for it. A couple of more things I would like to mention here is that this model comes on a black rubber strap, which is very comfortable. If it looks familiar, that's because Seiko uses the same one with a few other models in the Prospects range. And finally, the movement in this model, as well as in the Turtle, is the Seiko 4R35. I've owned and reviewed a ton of watches with this very same movement, and it's great, but it would have been amazing if Seiko had equipped this one with the newer 6R35, which has 70 hours of power reserve instead of 42. Nevertheless, the 4R35 is accurate, very reliable, and it doesn't disappoint. Now let's continue with the turtle guys, well, I should better say tortoise, because apparently that's how you call a turtle that spends more time on land than in water, something that as a non-native English speaker I had no idea about. In my language we just say Kostenurka and it doesn't matter whether it walks, it swims or it flies. Anyways, the reference number of the tortoise is SRPH99K1, it's limited to 7000 pieces and some of the key specs here are that it features the same black hard coating just like the Samurai and the Solar model, which I'll show you in a minute. It also has a Sapphire Crystal on top and it shares the same movement, 4R35. This model comes with an aluminium black matte bezel insert with a compass scale and it looks great. The bezel itself is bi-directional, it's non-clicky, just like the one on the new Seiko 5 GMT. It simply slides in either direction and the action is smooth, but also stiff enough. Guys, this is the first time I check one of these tortoise models and what's really catching my attention here is how wearable it is. The case diameter is 42.4mm, but the lug-to-lug -lug is only 452 
This means that if you get one of these, not only you'll be able to wear it, but also your wife and possibly your kids as well. So there you have it guys, the perfect excuse. You're welcome. However, there is one thing about the strap you should know. The quality is excellent, but it's very stiff right out of the box and it will require some break-in period. So you can patiently wait for it to soften or you can take advantage of these drilled lugs and replace it. Another thing that I find very interesting about this watch is the case back. It's laser engraved with ground to air emergency signal code. It consists of nine basic codes which are to be used to communicate with a rescue aircraft from the ground in case of an emergency. So this is kind of cool and useful, although I hope you never find yourself in a situation where you need it. So yeah guys, the Tortoise is a very nice watch with very compact dimensions and out of the three it represents the best value. It retails for 590 euro, so 100 euro less than the Samurai, but with a decent discount you'll be able to get one for about 500 and that's actually a very decent price. Last but not least, here is the third model of the series, the SNE 587P1. It's a quartz solar powered watch, limited to 6000 pieces, and in terms of diameter it's the smallest, 38.5. The leg to lug is also compact, 46.5 mm. So you could say this one is meant for people who prefer mid-sized dive watches. Besides the movement, the rest of the specs are similar, black hard coating on the case and the sapphire crystal in charge of protecting the dial. This model comes on a matching black bracelet, which unfortunately features hollow end links and a pressed metal clasp. However, on the wrist it looks fantastic, way better than I thought it would. Actually guys, this model is the one that I thought I wouldn't like at all. I had very low expectations about it, but I'm happy to say that in person it's pretty great. And that V147 solar movement seems to be pretty capable. It has a power reserve of 10 months and it's accurate to plus minus 15 seconds per month. If you're looking for a nice compact dive watch with potent loom that doesn't need any winding, this one might be right for you. Speaking of the loom guys, here is what it looks like. Sadly, I don't have around any of the previous Samurais to compare it with, but as you can see, it's very, very bright. There is a ton of it and the color definitely reminds me of night vision goggles and some fissure from the Splinter Cell games as well. Here is also a quick comparison of the Samurai and my Marine Master 300. The way I see it, it's quite impressive how well the green Lumi Bright Pro holds up next to the formula used on the MM300. To recap guys, the Night Vision series is quite exciting. All three models share some great characteristics such as drilled lugs, sapphire crystals, screw down crowns, 200 meters of water resistance, great build quality and decent finishing. However, they differ in terms of size and design. My personal favorite is without a doubt the King Samurai with its 44 mm angular case and I honestly wish I could add it to my collection. How about you? Which one do you like best? And if you own a Seiko Samurai, let me know in the comments below whether I should try a bit harder to get one. That's the end of today's video everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss my next video, which is most likely going to be the T-Cell PRX Chronograph that's just been released. Take care guys, I'll see you in the next one.